Good morning everyone and welcome to Pinox Smart Home Installation. If you're new to this channel, please to like and subscribe and please to follow me on all my social media platform. Today guys, as you can see, it's a beautiful morning. As you can see, what we're going to do this morning is we are going to send a push notification to our email address push notification to our g email address what I, the email that i'm going to use the platform is gmail now when you send a push notification to your email address the camera system will send a photo photograph of any motion detection that happens in the area um so we're going into that right now but before that what we need to do is we need to actually set up two email addresses two email addresses we need to have a personal email address and an email address for our camera system so everybody is supposed to have a personal email address so you need to set up an email address for your camera system some might ask why you can't use your personal email address well you don't want your camera system to have access to your personal email address that's one of the reason it's a security concern but you just need to um, make a email address for your NVR only all right so let us get into that right now um so we're going into configuration and then network and then we're going into email email so once we're in email settings uh, we want to we have username right here and we have password now this email address that you see up here is the email address that I created for my camera system. This is not my personal email address. So username and password is the email address that you created for your camera system this is the email address that your camera system will use to send a message to your personal email address all right so you can do everything that you see here um, this is smtp service which is gmail i'm using all right gmail so you right gmail right there you right s mtp.gmail.com um and i put you can put 25 here but i choose to put five five eight seven right here so you can put these in yours ensure that all of these are tick so this one is thick tick and this one is tick and this one is tick you select all of these now your sender your sender can be anything you can put home alarm i put home alarm for mine so when so when i get a push notification i will get an email from my security system and this will come up in my email as home alarm you can name your one anything all right your sender sender address is your dvr email address so this gmail up here that is username put it down here for your sender the same th thing that you have up here same email you put it down here this again this is not your personal email gmail account this is not your personal gmail account um receiver i only have one you can't have more than one but i only have one receiver down here where you have receiver you put you can put your name right here 
It can be anything, but I put my name right there. For your receiver address, you put your personal. You put your personal email right here. The email that you receive a lot of message from. You put your personal email right here. Not your security system email address that you have created. Your personal email address. Now, the email right up here for username. The password down here is the same password that is for this email address to access this email address the same password that you use you put it down here because you want the camera system to have access to this to this email address that you have created so if uh, once you're finished with that you select apply when you select apply if you go into google chrome and let me show you let me show you if you go into let me pause this so when you select apply the dvr your camera system will send your camera will try to your camera system will try to access the gmail account that you have created for the camera system however gmail will block it right and when gmail and when gmail block your dv your camera system system from accessing the um the gmail what would what you would do is actually um you will actually um click this activity check activity and when you check it it will come up it will come up like this before that let me let me see if i can go back it will come up like this they will say that a uh, device was was a device tried to sign in or someone tried to sign in to your account right that's the account that you have created for your camera system it says unknown device and it looks like a phone however this thing that look like you look like a phone is actually your dvr system it's a camera system so you need to take action and tell um google that you actually recognize this device you know what to do say yes it was me select yes it was me and once you select that the camera system will start to actually send push notification to your um gmail account so you need to fix that tell them that you yes i recognize this device because this device that you're looking at it looks like a phone but it's actually your camera system it's an unknown device because it wasn't added to your gmail security before tell them yes it was me i recognize this and when you recognize the when you recognize that the gmail will recognize your security system as this device that says yes this device is actually added to our secure to our gmail account just so guys once you have done that you need to go into your camera system gmail account the account that you have created for your nvr system you're going to go into security and you want to actually turn this on turn on this turn this on and it says less secure app access you want to keep this on this is not your personal um 
gmail account this is the account that you have created for your camera system so you're going to go into the settings and turn this on and once you turn this on everything will work right, since we are done with that now we are going to go to camera and we are going to event i think and what we can do let us go to camera 7 is it 7 yes once we go to camera 7 we're going to select the area so we're going to clear the area or the region and we want here to have motion detection right in here and then we're going to um, linkage action and then we're going to select send email and once we have done that we select apply all right and once we select apply and we go to our personal email address it will actually send message to your gmail account i'm going to show you a demonstration of it show um, sending um push notification to my personal gmail account soon come okay guys as you can see this is a demons demonstration of my gmail account my camera system sending email to my personal email which is my gmail all right so as you can see it says home alarm so that's the name of the sender and beside it you have the camera system gmail account that i have created and it says to me to me is actually my personal gmail account i don't want to move the arrow and it and it shows my gmail account so so this is my as you can see this page is my personal gmail account right so it actually sends it says this is an automatic generated um g email from your dvr right and it tell type of event motion detection t um event time 20 2022 yeah, 2022 on um, the fourth and the date is the 20th um first and it tells the time 10 10 right and it says attachment three attachment and those are the photograph of the motion detection again you cannot see the photo properly but there was somebody actually taking away the bicycle right so in conclusion why would i need to do this is the gmail is like a backup so anything happen it takes pictures and send it to your gmail account so god forbid if somebody breaks into your house and steal your camera system you have your gmail account as evidence at um as as evidence as what had happened um at home so thank you guys for watching please like and subscribe this video.